Matt Cole here, Remax Concepts, Dish with a Dream Team. Sanitized Solutions does duct cleaning work. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're, we're you know we're kind of we're going to get to the point of the year where people are going to start turn get that heat turned on, and I just want to know how important is duct cleaning? Sure. Well, duct cleaning um, a lot of as time goes on, that blower fan recycles air in your house. You have the supply duct, and then you have your return air duct, right? The return air duct is re is pulling in air pushing it past your blower and then putting it back out. It goes past the heat exchanger and then comes back out or they coil through a holder. Basically what happens is all that dust that, that, click, that air collects over time can build up around your, it, it, within your duct work, right? The, your furnace filter is a good indication of how dirty the air is in your house, right? The more you change your air filter, the cleaner your air is gonna be in your house. Um, so on average, if you have pets, I'd say change it every, every month. Um, if no pets, change out your filter every other month, right? Pets once a month, every other every other month for anybody else. Um, with duct cleaning every three to five years is what the you know what the suggestion is. Um, typically, what I would do is if you call me and say, "JD, I need a duct cleaning job," or "I think I do," we'd stick a camera down there just to see how dirty they are, and we're not necessarily going to sell you something you don't necessarily need, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but a lot of times in new construction, you're going to have new construction debris if they haven't covered up the vents during that process. Um, if you're moving into a house, it. A lot of people don't realize this, but you have no idea who lived in the house before you for 50 years, especially if the house is 50 or 60 years, right? It's kind of weird to think about, but you just don't know. So a lot of people call us to say, hey, I'm gonna start fresh and I wanna have my ducts clean. Um, when you clean out the ducts, you, you got you got to go through all every single um, supply duct down into the furnace cabinet, clean out the blower wheel. Uh, one of the things that we do is after we clean the entire system, and we have a duct truck, and then we also have some portable units, but a duct truck is a truck that basically we hook it up to your furnace and it's a huge vacuum. It, cut, it creates negative airflow and actually pulls that stuff through. And then we use a whip on the other end with compressed air and we clean it out. So we have the suction coming on one end and the, and the positive air coming through this mm -hmm. end and, and push everything through, right? And then we run the camera through it every time and then we send you a video of before and after, which is kind of neat. And then we take it one step further on every duct job, unless the you know unless the client doesn't request or want it, is we use an antimicrobial that we treat the, the duct work with. So that way we know that any germs or anything that was left behind basically get um, eliminated in that process also. So what are the what are the problems that occur potentially if you decide that eh, you know I don't need to clean out my duct work? Sure. Well, you're gonna have a lot of times you have restricted airflow. You know. Um, I've been in houses where, you know, rental houses where the tenant doesn't necessarily know about the furnace and they put one filter in. Well, it was a cheaper one, so it collapsed and they get next to the furnace. They'd go back and put another one in. So they pulled the, the door off and there was five filters. Well, there wasn't much airflow being pushed out through the vents. So a lot of times you'll have restricted airflow. The other thing it can do is if you're not, you know, the indoor air quality in your home is very important. That's where you, a lot of us spend at least eight hours, you know, a, a night sleeping. Um, in addition to whatever we're spending there with our family, right? So that quality of air, what you're breathing, if it's important to you, it's, it's all it's all going through the, the ductwork of that system, right? So yep. so if you value your clean air, then you'll value what it, what it takes to actually to achieve good air. And um, duct cleaning will get any debris, dog hair, or whatever. You'd be amazed some of the things that we pull out of duct cleaning. You know what I mean? So um, it's just a wise thing to do. Um, but on average, every three to five years, typically. And what what is something like that run roughly? Um, usually for us, it's anywhere from three fifty to four fifty. It all depends on square foot, sure. how many furnaces you right. have. You know, bigger house. Obviously, the bigger the house, you know, the more it's right. going to cost. But right. uh, very very competitive rates. Um, we don't we don't do a lot of uh, upselling. We have one package deal, and that's what it is. And like we just we like to keep it simple for our clients. Anything else you'd like to share about uh, about duct work and, or anything like that that Sanitize Solutions can provide for customers? Um, yeah, so Sanitize Solutions, whether it's an odor removal, mold remediation, air duct cleaning, or sanitization, um, our crew is always willing to help. Um, check out our reviews online um, or just give us a call if you even want to. Just, uh, we do free estimates, free quotes, 515-218-0736 or just look us up online at sanitizesolutionsia.com. Keep your furnace running well. JD, thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it.